Yeah, welcome, welcome everyone to another edition of the Bread for Soul Convos. This is the 41st edition, number 41. Yeah, no, no, no. This, is a, this has been, a, I mean, a, quite a ride for me. It's a lot of work, but I'm actually happy that more than delivering the show and more than putting it together, I'm more happy that um, I get feedback. The feedback that I receive from, from people, from you guys watching, it's really dope, you know, what the show is doing in your in your careers. And um, a lot of people have expressed how they feel that it's such an important show to have, not only for now, you know. And I'm very grateful for the people who, when I started this, they were like, bruh, keep on going, don't stop. So there's yeah. no stopping. There's no stopping, definitely. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're done. We're gone. No, we're done. We're done. KV, how's it, my yeah. brother? I'm all right, my brother. Thank you for having me, yo. No, thank you. What do you want? 41, 41, bro. We're going on. <laughs> We're going on, my man. And um, I want to say, I, I should have actually given you like a proper intro by saying, um, just like in, 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 in music, guys, um, anybody can really buy uh, a pair of CDJs, a mixer, and then you're a DJ. You know, no one can tell you anything. You're already a DJ. And secondly, anybody can buy a piece of music equipment and you can make music, you know, but how good that music is really will depend on the effort that you put in. And, and similarly with photography, anybody can really, really buy a camera and go out and take pictures, you know, but for you, sure. KB, what, what, what makes a good photographer in your, in your own eyes? In my own eyes? Yeah. Um, this is going to be a little controversial, but let's go. Um, so... Photographers are like naturally make money off commissions, right? You get commission, they call you up, and you'll be very lucky if they believe in your vision to say, okay, just do what you do, you know, we trust your eye. But for me, in order to see what you're all about, is to see your personal work, what really intrigues you. And it could be anything, it could be bees, you could be like taking pictures of goats. You could do anything, bro. You could take pictures of, but there's certain people when you when you see their personal work, you, you get to see their composition, their eye, like how they see life, you know what I mean? And how they see life or, or their surroundings. Like if you take pictures for me of your everyday life and you present them, yo man, you, we can see magic. Cause it's I mean everything you, you can draw up, you can okay, say okay, fe too. <laughs> Whatever the case is, right? Yeah. But if, if if you if you are fortunate and you have people that are allow you to show that vulnerable side of, of life that we always avoid. We always avoid seeing hardships, we always want to see cute, oh my god, cropping, whatever. Mm. A good photograph has empathy. A good photographer, sorry, has empathy. Mm. They first know that we're humans before becoming subjects. They, because we appropriate the world, right? We really do. We make sure that we take pictures and tell you guys this is how life looks like, which is a lie, mm. if you think about it. You know, but if you show empathy, if you are allowed to take pictures of an old age home or pictures of uh, something really close to you, and if you really show it for what you see, number one, dude. Yeah, it's 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 classic. Uh, I think it's 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 a it's an important thing that we started there. Because so that as we unfold the conversation, um, people can understand the kind of work that you do and the way you do what you do, you know. Um, yeah, for sure. For, for sure. sure. So I want to ask you about, before we get into photography and music, I want to ask you about your early influences with regards to photography itself. Um, early influences. So I might have to track back a little bit on how I started, right? Because it's not like... No. The artist story, right? Go ahead, so I quit my job, not for photography, but I had a I had a Sony Xperia, right? And I think Sony should cut a check by now, because you know, it's about time. So I, I, I bought a camera. No, no, so quit my job, bought a phone, Sony Xperia, went to Cape Town. Like two weeks, kids I helped that bench in. You know when you get your pension money from the company, <laughs> just chowing it. And I was just taking random pictures in the bus on the way. Like it just came natural. Like, but or in, like, yeah, it was natural. Just took pictures. What I didn't think they were hot. I just thought, hey, this is interesting. Started putting them on Facebook. Got a little cute traction. You know, how people always say, "Take the blind, blah blah." 
And then a good friend of mine, Kulani Murule, um, said that, sent me down. He's like, dude, before Fitzak shot that bench unit, let's buy a camera. And I bought a camera in Woodmead, I remember. It was, four, it was like 4,000. It hurt my last <laughs> you know, bit of change. And I started touring with Kuli Chana. You know what I mean? I started touring with them in 2011. Yeah. So I didn't have any influences at the time, like real influences. I was just really into popular, like, like the guys that I just heard around in Joburg. Because I was sort of squatty in and out. But as soon as I really took it serious, there's like a lady called Anna Maya. Like she, she's, she's not even an early influence. You know? She's just an influence through art. She, you should look her up. She's a, she was a nanny in the 20s or something. And the work that she did was... And she was a nanny. So go get the Naya, don't go to go take pictures. And you can imagine America at that time. So you've got your Robert Frank, your Gordon Parks, you know, um, Leroy Jason was very influential in my life. Shout out to Leroy. Shout out to Lebo Lupo. I can't, I can't count him out because... Just seeing them work and how it came out and studying them quite. Yeah, um, yeah, any little bits. You know, it's, it's a lot of people because I, yeah, it's a lot. I, I, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a cool, lot. cool. We could be here the whole day. Yeah, yeah, we could be here the whole day, which we don't have, but, um, uh, we've yeah, got some lot. time definitely to talk about your work with Kulichan and yeah, like, uh, because you mentioned him. Um, yeah. What is it that you, that you did, uh, with Kuli? Or oh, actually, so, first before before we get to that, I mean, right. from Afikien, we both from Afikien, Kool is from Afikien too. Sure. Is that where you guys hooked up? And then how did you guys yeah. actually started working you as this photographer and and so forth? So back in the day, I mean, he was started being a rapper. He used to come to my high school. That's how we met. He used to come to my high. That's what, that's not Batswana. So Batswana, Batswana cats were like haters back in the day, and I know they're gonna kill me for this. <laughs> They were haters because they never used to have rights to a lot of the cases. And they used to come. So he used to like, he used to date a lot of girls from Kumarata because he had the appeal. You know, hip hop. They used to call him his first rap name was Snoop Dogg. You know, Snoop, whatever. So, <laughs> so fast forward, like I said, he encouraged me very hard. Like he was on my ass. He's like, dude, buy a camera. And we started working, right? And he just let me do my thing. Because he knew I was an amateur. You know, he let me do my thing. And, yeah, it's it's been like that since 2011 until today. Like, we work very well. He knows what I do. He trusts me, right? And he lets me work. Because I let him rap. I don't tell him, hey, let me to that. You know, I don't because that's his product. I enhance his product or I add value to his product. And it's been consistent. Yeah, and, 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 and it's and it's, it's 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 a great place because I met a lot of artists through him, just like you. I met certain people, you know. Yeah, and it was all professional, all always professional. Yeah, always. Professional. Yeah. And when you when you say that, like he he, you you want him to let you work. What exactly do you mean by that? So. Photographers and, and musicians and. Artists and creators are, are, are naturally historians, right? Mm. So uh, you're going to make your music according to how you live in which year, whatever the case may be, right? You then can't tell somebody else to say, "Ebed, did I can't wait to leave it." So, right? If you trust, if if you trust somebody's work, just say, "Yo, just make sure, especially for brands, please." take a picture of this, that, that. But other than that, let's show people what you do, which is one thing I really like to thank a lot of artists, especially you, Kuli, everyone. They hardly controlled me, right? And I, and I hardly told you what I was going to do. I just said, okay, so what do you, let's take pictures. And it's a beautiful relationship. Uh, no one wants to be famous. You know, I've seen photographers get a chance and they forget that they're actually photographers. They want to be famous now. You know, they're there in the club show, and go, but I, you know, they're dropping names, but you're just there to add your value to somebody's career. Dude. Whether you're a producer, if you produce for, for, for a big artist, you don't have to go around and go, yo, yo, that's, you like, that's what you're supposed to do, right? You, yeah. you didn't, yeah, so it, it was, it was like that, and 
I think that's what kept me and him and you, you know, we've never really bumped heads in terms of professionalism. I remember that gig in Durban we did. You know what I mean? That I mean that was like 75. People don't know that. It did like almost 12 hours. <laughs> right. And I think we spoke twice the whole night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ralph came, uh, brother, you okay, brother? Uh, when you were the moon, yeah, of course, yeah. And I work. Because <laughs> everybody's going to do their job. Yeah. You know? So it's great to see you guys work. It's a privilege to, to, to actually see you guys work. It always rubs off onto me. I always come back home and tell guys, well, hey, gents, you know, you don't need to be in Joburg or you don't need to do it. You just need to fucking grind. You need to really work your ass off. Mm. Right and 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 work on your product, and 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 establish a team and and have one vision, but and and let the people do their thing because that's why you brought them on. Mm. You know you don't want to be a dictator. Mm. You know you know what I mean. Stuff like that. So I really appreciate the artists that we Yeah, I I, I I know definitely that you don't like um, just after taking a picture somebody. I'm not like you know what you just did. Yeah, what are you looking at? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, get some herbal life. Get some herbal <laughs> But um, um um because you mentioned team and working with people, what is it like? For example, for me, bro, like when I see, when you look at documentaries of people like Miles Davis or um, um, Morgan, like the trumpeter, you know, um, Lee Morgan, yeah. when, you, when you look at those documentaries and, and this is like stuff in the 50s, in the 60s, and still those artists had dope pictures, whether they're in studio, whether they're performing right. and they had right. pictures. Like how does an artist in 1950 have a picture, and you, in 2020, you don't have a picture of your performance. I don't get yeah. that. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, so, I, I sort of get it. Right? And, look, one side, people want to get paid. Right? Let's, let's, just, let's just be realistic, right? Artists are tired of being survivalists, and I'm only new in this. I'm only nine years, so I can't even, like, chime in too much about, but I know what it, how are you doing? Hey, I'm Spani. You know, those go, uh, I'm a song guy. Now you turn up where you are. Right. But I don't think maybe the a vision, is, uh, the vision is addressed properly. For instance, right, you and I don't, there was no exchange of money with your uh, grateful soul. But we have a vision. We're not going to talk about it but too much, but we have a vision. And you told me to, like, no, this is it. This is what we need to do. And this is going to be the end result. And we're, we're slowly seeing it. We're going to get there one day, right? But we don't know when. But every month, we've got to churn it out. i got to give you pictures. i got to find something that's appealing. Yeah. Mm. So people don't have teams now because of the money. Second of all, technology is it's on your phone. You know, if, if you ask your friend, hey, 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 that, he'd be like, okay, I'll call up. And then, you know, and it's our And it goes to, it goes to the gram. Mm. And and once it goes to the ground, people think that's it, right? It is an arch- is it it is a it is an, an archiving uh, you know tool. But here's the thing, right? You don't have range, right? You don't have concepts. You you don't have, right? You like you don't have it, man. It's it's just gonna feel like this is. I follow. I marry you guys. If I let start, uh, I mean, Matt, remember the Kai sets? Yeah, let's talk about Kai sets for you. Yeah. But at not one moment did I say, oh, and, and I called you luckily on a Friday morning. I was from a faraway place. And I called you like, let's go. Right? And work killed it. I think we really did well on both sides. The set was crazy. And I think the images, you know, I'd never met Tandy and Tuli, but I've got images where Tandy was concentrating, Sims, that, that, that genius kid, Nell, is it Nell? Yeah, Nkulu Lek. Yeah, Nkulu Lek. Nkulu Lek. I've got a, there's a silhouette. Nkulu Lek, like, you, he's very to himself, he doesn't, do you know what I mean? But that's what describes him. He's like that. Mm. So I think guys should invest with, start a team and, and have one vision. Say, dude, whatever five Bob I'll get, I'll share it. With you. Yeah. But we have to work. Yeah. Because if you wait for if you wait for the perfect moment, you'll be reading your own life. Sure. 
But I want to get into, um, we will get to unpack some of the work that we have done together. Yeah. But I want to ask you about the importance of having a photographer as an artist. You know, what does that do for an artist's image? Yeah, it, it keeps it going. We will remember every uh, decades or years because like I said, you know, music or whatever you do as an artist is a, st- a historian. You could even write, it could expand to something that you could write a book, you could take out a book, right, showing over the years, the, ca- the guys from the Jazz Fest did that. I don't know if you've seen the book. I forgot their names, but I once saw it, you know, and they have it from like early 90s. And you know who was taking pictures? It was one of the uh, co-owners. It's very important to have pictures. You must have real well thought out pictures because that's your aesthetic. That's who you are. That's what you present to the world. History will only remember you with your images and your music. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, le le double HP like um. I know you've shot uh, you, you shot pictures for the making of his his music video in Mafike. Yeah, but um, still, yeah. yeah, yeah. Firstly, like him as an artist, you know. Um, I mean, God bless his soul, you know. But him as an artist, what is it actually about Mafike and and the artistry that you have seen while you are growing up, Kokas? I think it's just the way uh, people were raised, right? We were very fortunate and. Mabana played a pivotal role, right? Uh, our school systems were really great. There was music, there was art in our schools, right? So guys got to tap into what they want to do. Like, and I mean, with, with, with that, I mean, it's just, it's a hub of talent. Like, I, I don't know how, and the thing is, it's generational, right? Mm. Um, Taban's late dad, uh, Mr. Bukhiso, he was a great theater uh, lecture from right. Mm. But he was legendary. Mm. By the time I was like 10, he was a legend already. Yeah. Right? Mm. He was excellent when he used to do two door, mm. six to hoy, all these guys. And then it went, it, it passed down to, you know, to other guys, Bo, Bo, Bo Presley. Mm. Like, it, it was like a, like a institution. I'm not, a, I don't want to sound corny, but it was an institution pa- like passing the baton down all the time. Mm. And, and that's where you get, you know, a uh, talent like even with Jabba, you know, Jabba Pasopa, he didn't know I was coming. Mm. He didn't know. I just heard, I just saw it. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get this again. I went to the video shoot. Obviously, it was uh, about Fees Must Fall. Mm. And it was a very controversial time for Jabba. He was ranting and raving about trap music how bad was you know that you yeah yeah we're certain guys and um i got to see like with like no filter i got to see him in his totality he he was not the easiest guy because he was big in thought mm. big he didn't expect like, general was just like yo it's not going to do this. If it's not going to raise the bar, what are we doing? Mm. Right? And, you know, so it was, it was one of those videos, no budgets, no owner. We didn't have snacks. <laughs> he walked with, I mean, from Unibo to the stadium, he walked with the kids. Sure. It was insisting not, he's like, I'm going to walk and he listened to the prompts. Very, very, very life-changing day for me. Sure. He said a mouthful that day. Like, I've never heard any other artists talk like that. He was talking about what's happening now back then. That's like 20, 14, I think. Yeah. Mm. Man. Yeah, he, he's magical. Yeah, definitely he is, bro. Like, and I want to talk about uh, Bread for Soul Convos and what we do. Not the Convos, yeah. the Bread for Soul sessions, you know. <laughs> I mean, the Convos. Hey, yeah. man. Hey, yeah. It's Bread for Soul, <laughs> Bread for Soul, this yeah. and that. But I want to talk about the, yeah, the, the sessions, the, the audio podcast. Um, uh, we started getting on it, and as soon as you came on on board, and and my partner Valesa, who does graphics, you know, we we started doing it, having it as a tradition to have these dope photography, um, this dope photography that you do your own personal work, and then yeah. you use that and fuse that with the music that we that we mix, you know, um, every month. For sure. How has that 
project been for you, uh, seeing your work in, in, in that form? Look, I won't lie to you. It's, it, it's humbling because um, I see the responses, right, on, 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 on maybe your timeline, you know, your socials. And you see my work, right? You can't, you can't erase it. You know, it's me and Palisa are of it. But to see my work, excuse me, is amazing because it's never seen work. Some of the most of the time, most of it's never seen. It's pictures of flowers <laughs> or like a bug or something, you know, right? That I thought <laughs> it was pretty dope. Mm. And you only find out later in life, wow, people really think this is dope. And I mean, the, 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 the user experience, I mean, somebody puts in his car, it's right there, your picture's right there. Yeah. It, yeah, on the phone, it's right there. It, you know, it, it, it's crazy. It's forever. That's the best part. Mm. <laughs> you can't take it. You know? It's great. I, I love it because I trust your brand. Sure. I really do. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to work if I don't trust you. That means we're, we're not alive. Yeah. Right. And we're all and we're all growing. We're not perfect. We're not superstars. Mm. But you know, I, I remember there was a time I sent you a bag. You were like, "Yo, um, can you send me some more?" Like, <laughs> I don't care. Do you remember those I yeah. sent you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, it's not perfect. We're always building, but it's great to see. You need to see your work like on on anything. That that it's it's amazing. It's, it's an amazing, you might try and be modest or like, oh, I'm more humble, like, <laughs> but not be looking at you like this. Yeah. And it looks so beautiful. It just looks beautiful on the glass. And you just for love sure. this bread for so old, you know? Yeah. yeah. Catches me off guard most of the time. Man, like, it catches me off guard all the time. And especially, like, um, when you, I would like to say pictures of nothing, but it's actually something, you know, like, that's when, it, when I, I, connect the most with the pictures like clouds yeah. you know the stuff that you do the clouds or the, or the torn down stadium you know that stadium booth that we did yes, like yes. that used to be a booth that we used to pay yeah so i yeah i do i do like my visual exercise at the stadium so every time i see it i always go when are you gonna take a picture of this thing because this thing looks really you know a little grim a little but you know it could work mm. and i remember the first time i see you that batch and you used it off the bat i was like wow yeah. And people who couldn't even guess what that was in yeah. their own long time. Exactly. I want to talk to you yeah. about that actually because cool. like you, you, cool. you take a lot of pictures um, of Mafiking and, and the right. landscapes for Mafiking, you know. Uh, right. Firstly, I think let's start here. You, you and I have had conversations and you are big on taking pictures every day. It, like, it, what yeah. do you tell new photographers in, who are coming into the game, especially Kukasi, people who, who have seen your work and I'm like, ah, bro, you dope. I like what you did. And they want to get into it. What is your starting point with, with that conversation? Cool. So I'm going to keep it 100. I've been approached by a couple of guys, you know, humbly so. Some have done it arrogantly. Like how I've seen the guys approach you at gigs when you're playing in Dao and you're trying to take a selfie while you're playing in the middle of the city. I always tell guys, get it. Buy a camera, right? It, it, because it's going to go past 4,000 or 5,000. It's a lot of money. But buy an entry-level camera. It's if you really want to do this. Because here's the best thing about a camera. It just sits there. It just sits there. Right? Buy a camera. And second of all, don't categorize yourself. Don't say, I do this, I do that. That was the biggest mistake that I made. Because um, if you're going to specialize, you're going to have to be a ninja. You're going to have to be, uh, you know, Peter Lindbergh about it, who just shoots in black and white. It's something, it's something I tried, and it, it worked for a bit, and, and I'm happy I did because it's in my arsenal. I can use it. But just take pictures. If, take pictures of your friends. Take pictures of your family. Those are the first two people. Those are your first two critics, mm. first and foremost, right? Mm. So that's the best speed hump to give you a lot of confidence, mm. right? And then just keep taking and study, right? If you want to be a great writer, you got to be a sensational reader. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a great musician, you got to listen to a lot of music. Mm -hmm. And, it, and you, you might think it takes your time out, but uh, I'll give you a fun fact, kids. Tyler, the creator, who's one of the best rap producers of his generation, right? Listens to uh, music every morning for two hours. 
artist he doesn't know. You can that, that's Spotify for free, like sixty bucks. Or, it, it, it's it's all about effort. Just take pictures, um, study photographers, and then kill your master. You can have a master, but then one day you're gonna be a master. So kill your master and then be a master. Mm. That's that's it. Like because to praise somebody for I praise everyone that is a creative. It's difficult to be a creative because mm. everyone is doing it right. Yeah. And you can't say that. You can't. Like you said, it's easy to buy vinyls. You can't, right? But we see them. They guess out at some point. Oh, this is not for me. And it's not for you. Mm. But if you are a creative, forget photographer. If you're a creative, research. If you want to be an illustrator, check what the best do. Look at their processes. Look at their, look at their uh, what do you call this? Look at their regimens. Look at their routines. Start a routine. You, I, I at least take one picture a day. I've, I've used this exercise for the last maybe five years, and I've seen vast improvement. That means you have to be present, right? Mm. And if you miss a picture, you know, just keep it in your head because you know you have that ability that you saw it. Yeah, you know, mm. young guys when you talk to them, I see always they just want to be at the top. They really do, and I, I don't, I don't blame them. They see other guys do it real quick. But I'm nine years deep, bro, and I'm still, you know, shaking. <laughs> I was going to shake. Yeah, yeah, you're being, I, you're being very yeah. modest, but I like that because, like, what I also like about you, KB, is the, the work ethic, bro. Like, to be able to take photos every day, each and every day taking photos. It's not because, a, man, it's not a yeah. Oh, look, bro. Who is talking about that? But um, it's my job. I don't treat it like uh, what what work is treated now. You have to glorify grinding, killing people that you're working <laughs> as if you're the only one working. No, you're not, <laughs> unfortunately. Right? There's 60 million active photographers in the world. What are you talking about, bro? Yeah. Right? Yes, you can show the grind to aspire people, but most of the time, you know. Mm. You know. It's longevity. Mm. The aim of the game in this life is to be at this level for, 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 for as long as you can. Mm. It doesn't matter. It, like, uh, like Vinny, one of my favorite dreams that I hardly talk to him around, but I spoke to him in Soweto. I spoke to him in Soweto. And you guys had that workshop? Yeah. With the German yeah, yeah. embassy. Yeah. So after he played, we went to go have a smoke outside. I think, I, yeah, he went outside and I went to go. And I was like, Vinny, I don't want a selfie. Uh, I just want to ask you one question. How, how do you, when the days are really grim, how do you keep that going? Because they do get uninspiring, mm. right? And he's like, dude, it's my job. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I don't care why you guys take pieces of food and tell you what you eat, where you stay, yeah. what you do. Yeah, it's not going to enhance your skill level. Mm. What enhances your skill level is the work ethic. Right, and the work ethic, honestly speaking, does not have a discovery date because everyone is very anxious about being discovered. Da, da, da. Guess what? You, I mean, Vinny's been around for what, 35 years, mm. he's still getting booked in most of these. Most of them, mm. quiet doesn't does, you know, yeah. very humble takes pictures with everyone, but two hours, you know, it's just. Shazam, everybody's trying to Shazam. <laughs> it's impossible because Vinny gets it. It's his job. It's his commitment. No one's going to stop him. Mm. No one. Mm. Right? No politics, nothing. He does, he, he, he does look at other guys. He really... I, I saw an interview he was talking about I'm a piano. Mm. It's not his thing, but he says, he says you, can't, you can't deny that. That thing is hot. Yeah. says, when you get there, it's hot. Yeah. Right? I was, like, I mean, I'm such a Vinny fan. I also saw Vinny Da Vinci at a Rag Farm gig in 2009 in Pretoria, right? When Rag Farm was just about to, you know, if I, I forgot who played, but it was like, da, da, you know, and it's like, a, it's like, it's like two hills, too many hills. And you know, Vinny, right? He's going to start from dudes, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Right. In 45 minutes, bro, it was like, demon. it was like, um, it was like uh, zombies. But I was just like, 
Our 30 minutes, everybody, ah! right? Kill. So trust what you do and work on it. Trust me, you will get a fan. You will get your following. Quality will always be followed by quality. Mm. Mm. Always. But you must put quality in the work ethic. Mm. Mm. And time. I've seen you. Yeah. Sorry. No, no. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. All I'm saying is that's how it works. Mm. Right? I think the plus side is just being famous. What? Because you, you know, here's the thing, right? Dr. Dre said, if you get it, you have to work twice as hard to keep it. Mm. Mm. Right? You buy a car, nice, we have twice as hard. West Bank must not take your car back or something. Yeah, for sure. So, that's how we should work. We should stop glorifying what we do. Because mm. you're not the only one. Everybody's doing it. Yeah. And everybody, so, and there's so many other talented people too, you know, doing it. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But I, I want to emphasize the point of, uh, just redoing things over and over again. You know, that's how you get better. Like, that's how. There's no other shortcuts, guys. There's no. Uh, I'm gonna learn but this for one year, purposes. and then I'm gonna be the best, and I'm I'm gonna leave. It. Like, while you are at that best level of you, there's another guy, coming. You know, who's just even if not. Five times more, you know what I mean? So it really yeah. helps that you need to keep working, keep at it. And, and it also keeps you inspired. Like when you get to a certain level, like I dropped Moving Circles in 2017, right? And yeah. I'm grateful that the album has done well. You know, we, we just replayed the, the concert from Kai FM. Yeah, that was, that was fresh. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Prove but, what Prove said. He said, out of all the shows... He says, no disrespect. I remember he's like, no disrespect to anyone who's been here. This is the best by far that I've seen. And the next weekend, what happened? Robert Marawa. Ah, yeah, that was yeah, the show, right? Yeah, yeah, and he was right. like, yeah, guys, it's been, a, it's been a great season. It's been a great year. These are the guys you've been warming up. Man, man. You still remember that? And I, I actually, this is so dope. This is actually another powerful thing about photography that we've had events and these things stay as memory, you know. And I want to get yeah. through to um, some of the events that we've done together, starting with the listening session before releasing Moving Circles. Craig at, Hall, right? At, in Craig Hall at uh, Yul Damaso's art studio. Um, Whoa, what, what, what do you remember Chelsea. about that, um, that, that event? Opulence. Opulence. That's all I remember because every time I would pass a tag of some artifact or like a painting, Get a guy, share with you. Let's give a guy, and it's like, well, okay, cool, right? But jokes aside, what I remember about that was it was a little cold, right? It was it was winter, right? Mm-hmm. Winter. Was in August, right? but it was cold. Yeah, it was cold that day. I remember, uh, we had Peroni on tap. Yeah. Shout out to Peroni. Yeah, Let's shout out. To sure. <laughs> we had Peroni on tap, and what was amazing was that the type of fans you had pulled. And it was such it was a it was a crazy weekend. What, what was happening that weekend? Something else. Yeah, it was a busy weekend. Sun City, I think. It was sun, something was happening in Sun City. But I remember homies from Soweto, mm. you know, pro- promoters were just like, guys, we've been waiting for this. It was it was great hearing people really appreciate what you've done. I mean, um, who's that homie? Last skin homie, um, he he mentioned uh, Tandy's intro and outro. Um, it's DJ Phonogenic, AB. AB. There we go, homebrew. Right, because pe- people don't know I was actually doing the, the interviews, right? I was just saying, say this. Yeah. People don't discuss that. People don't discuss house or albums like that anymore. People don't go into teach. I mean, he was explaining what to do. I mean, imagine this. Tandine Tuli is rega- like, she's Amazing what she does. Mm. And this is before she became Standard Bank, right? Mm, yeah. It, it was, you know, I mean, I, I've never seen people love house that much. Like, I spoke house the whole day and not even kill you, but I was just listening. Home. Okay, cool. You know, guys were really on with I like this song. The aesthetics, um, guys just came out. It was dope. I, that's what I remember. It was. It was dope, and I took a chance with the edit. That was the first time I actually used that edit that yeah. I normally use. Yeah, sure. and it was great seeing, you know, teacher and student. And I met Ayanda 
I am there, I met uh, where do I there when I went, I met uh uh I mean I met your 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 who's this guy? Your colleague, is it Bond? Ah, Minglo. Yeah, Minglo, Minglo, Minglo. Yeah, yeah. Met Minglo. I met a lot of people there that I never meet, but they, they were so positive and so great about your music and then that gallery was ridiculous. I remember. You know that, that gallery like that? He's got that. This has got that glitter Vespa, yeah. that the mirrors, and you know he was explaining. Yeah, it was it was it was mind blowing. It was my. I mean, I wish more people had come out. It was mind blowing. Yeah, man. I had so much. I, I think so. And and then no one told me again. People just like, can you please say, I'll take it? But it was great to just see people in it. Like you could tell for them that environment shook them. Sorry. Like, I'm sure you got that one in my app. This venue is. Because that's what I always say. Why not? <laughs> well, I, I'll tell you how I got that venue. Now. Um, the, um, My partner, again, um, I have to thank her for that, uh, Palisa, because um, she's a model. And she had a shoot, actually, with that wa- that guy. Actually, I think it was at that studio. They had a modeling yeah. shoot there. And then I was like, man, this is so dope. Actually, it would be nice to host um the my listening session there after you know, visiting the studio a couple of times and also uh worth mentioning Yul the owner of the the gallery he's the one that actually worked with me on the my um album cover the moving circles album cover so it was him and a, a guy called um jeez why, why do i forget the guy ah damn he's going to kill me the anyway, photographer. yeah the photographer guy anyway so yeah. so there was two of them uh daniel yeah his name is daniel so just about relationships and and creating those networks and keeping the networks you know um yeah. i've just asked you last week if he minds giving me at to remove that brooklyn bridge over off my and and he agreed he was like bro i will do that for you you know if, if it means borrowing because i can't afford it now and this stuff hey, is course, cheap. Man, i saw the prices <laughs> you but they're worth it though. i mean you was also a great example if people want to see work ethic they can check out that guy. yeah the guys always do something really out of this world bro. shout out to you but i love i love like just collaborating and we are all artists bro like you you're a photographer yul is an artist he's an illustrator he's also like a, a visual artist and to have yeah. that fusing that with music i think um we did something special with regards to moving circles sure. you know For and sure. the lesson session but i want to talk to you about the gig we did in durban the, the anniversary oh. for moving circles oh, and wow, cool. and the pictures that you took from that gig because that was amazing bro you know like Yeah, Walk I was being it. bumped by, you know, KZM folk. They didn't, they didn't really care. They were just dead, right? Yeah, it was... Look, I had never... If you remember, we got there. We got to German pretty late because we were, you know, ticky-tacking along the way and what's the name now, whatever, which is part of a road trip. Hmm. But the the crazy part, I remember we went to chat with Quick Head Supper. You were already at the gig. Got there at seven. It was like, everybody knows what to do. Shut And you remember, there was a fee before nine o'clock. And I, you know, I'm like, isn't that too early? And uh, Raphael was like, uh, your part, business partner, Raphael was like, watch. They love house here. And this is deep house. No hip hop, no so nothing, right? It was packed. And um, I mean, I saw couples do that. I mean, I haven't seen them in a while. Couples that love deep house. And I spoke to some of them. I think I have pictures of some of them. People who just got there was like, we're just here for the house. Get a picture. Ah, no shop here. Just time before to the shop. Just tell them they're done. Durban gig uh, made me believe in house music again. Um, I, I knew Juice Jazzin from June Jazzin from the great guy, great energy. Mm. Um, a lot of cash from Durban. Um, and that was the first time I saw you, uh, you Vinny, I think Christos, Ralph. Ralph. Mm. June, everybody do one on one. Yeah, crazy. Like, like there was no like people were so present, and it's great to see that when there's no facades and there's no standing at the corner. It was, it was. I mean, and we first got my, first got my six. I remember, yeah, because I had to catch a flight, but two Joe, yeah, and do the sadness, yeah. 
Man. Yeah, but it was it was it was great to see. It was dope. I, I, that I, venue was top notch. Yeah, I, I played some pictures uh, while while we were chatting. I think people will will enjoy the. And to see, yeah, it was the energy was. I mean, you you even admit, look, I mean, I expected something, but I didn't expect this. For a deep house gig, I mean, they were waiting downstairs. They had to wait for the elevator. So there was a line downstairs just to come, mm. you know. And it was like really pricey, but they were like, "This is quite a bit. We're gonna pay." Yeah. And you gotta appreciate fans like that. Shout out to them. Man, shout out to the fans in Devon, definitely, because after that event, we went on to do many other events in Devon, and we've never had a, a bad event, especially in terms of turnout. We've always had support, yeah. you know, so definitely a shout out to my Devon peeps. I want to ask you... Know, you, you know what? Let me, let, me, let me remind you. Shout out to somebody. We didn't... We, you, I don't think you, you got to speak to him for a very long time. But if you remember, DJ Nana drove from Peter Marysburg. He had a gig. Oh, yeah, he did. In Peter yeah. Marysburg. And <laughs> he came and was like, yeah, oh, I think you love all the time. You love all the time. I just... <laughs> and, and, he, and he left. He's like, well, he's going to blow. I'm like, why did you... He's like, no, I'm here to listen to these guys play. Shout out to Nana. No, shout out to Nana. Thank you, thank you, bro. And, um, yeah, man, I forgot what I wanted to get. Oh, yeah, there's this thing. KB, you've got a skill, the way you take photos, where... People are not really watching and they're not expecting the photos. Is it a thing that you do on purpose, like to capture moments like that? That was my breakthrough into photography. Um, I got that from street photography, right? It's sort of like street photography made into me. So, look, we're not all sharp for the camera. We're all not cute, right? But... If I, there's a way I can, like, if you're just sitting, but like, if you don't try, you know what they say, right? If you don't try, you actually become really cool. So I learned that earlier on, you know, when they don't see you, they, they are who they are. If you're a goofy guy or a good, that's who you are. But as soon as the camera pulls up, you just want to pout. <laughs> Some weird stuff like that. And it's, it's fine. They must do it, but it's always great to... to being a natural space. Because the reactions are real. Mm. Sad. Whether it's sad, whether it's happy, whether it's, you know, mundane, but it's who you are. And you you might even remember, wow, actually, yeah, I got that day I was not feeling well. How did this guy get that? Mm. Right? It makes you think. I like that, man. I want people to feel something. I don't want it to be like, oh my God. Oh, do you remember that? What that means? Like, they make it because it's design. You know what I mean? I don't want that. Yeah. I want empathy, like I said in the beginning of the show. I want to find out who you are. Yeah. Right? I can I can get like six looks. I'm going to fade out. That's not important. Because you feel six, you can you can feel sad out and I go gigi, mole wate, mole serisa, mole esteric, that's who you, that's how the world is. Yeah. Ejo, Emma, I've got a, I've got a thing for you here. Um, I just made a call. Hey, Kuli. Hello? Is he answering? Yeah, I think he did. Hello? Man. Shut up! Man, it's not... He answered, but he's not saying anything. Okay. Kulani, it's me. I'm not snitching at your heart. <laughs> let, let, me, let, me, let me make another call. Maybe he'll pick up this time. Okay. He might be busy. I mean, he's Kulichana. He's busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a husband and father. <laughs> he's, he's really busy. He is. He is. He is, he is. He's, he's, Shout out to him. Um, let me ask you about money, bro. Like, um, you know, we, we, we worked on collaborations. We've done a lot of stuff. And most of the time, you know, it, it's always been a relationship because, I mean, I didn't have money, you know, but you were also saying, man, it's cool. Let's do this. When I had money, I pay you. Um, yeah, exactly. But, exactly. but I, I want to know about um, survival, like in terms of money. How have you been able to survive? without getting like big jobs are you chasing for those big jobs because i don't think you are but i mean let me not assume i don't i don't chase for big jobs i just try and wherever i am whatever community i am in, i try and capture even when i'm let's say doing a wedding let's say traditional wedding in for i will always make time to capture the essence of what i think it is mm. personally right 
So obviously everybody wants that breakthrough gig where you are just, you know, and good for them. I hope I hope people get what they want. But me, I I just want to add value to my community, bro. I, I'm a Fijian resident. I travel the country taking pictures. I they're always community inspired. I live in a community. I have neighbors that I talk to. We attend funerals. Like we do, you know, like it's, it's still a community. As much as it's in a bad shape, we're still a community. Mm. So for me, that's a big deal for people to allow me to still get into their lives. Whether it's like I've been in positions where they say, oh, it's taboo to take pictures like while they negotiate. Mm. You're not allowed. If you're not married, guess who's been. Mostly. Me. Mm. I've learned my I've learned my culture. I've learned other people's culture. I've learned to so for me that's a big gig. Right? And you know, you know what they say this whole I think a rapper crisis and it's just your legacy and, and everything else will always be determined by uh what's this thing? Uh the people. Right when you die, they will always determine. But you're here to do what you do. Um you get what you get. I mean Obviously, right now you want everyone wants to get paid more. Everyone wants to get paid more because we live in a capitalist world. Mm. But I just want to be really, really, really fucking good at what I do. I want to be prolific. I honestly just want to make history because that's all we're gonna have, mm. right? I might die dead poor. That's fine. But I don't want to be mentioned in a hundred years like any other of these other people that have been mentioned. That you know, I want to be like Gordon Parks. We, we didn't know Gordon Parks' money. We didn't know how much he had. But if you you research Gordon Parks, you find out that he was a beast. So, yeah, money, is a, it's, it's tough, man. It was surviving, COVID years, since it's up. But, you know, it, it's bad, but nothing is forever, though. Not even time. So get it out. Get those pictures out. Do those projects. Like you said, it'll pay later. Mm. I did, I did work with Mabana, right? And I can talk about it now because we saw it. Yeah, please, like, please do, man. And everything, right? I did work with Mabana, and I only got compensated like three years later. And I, and I told them, like, no, there's issues with what... I was like, listen, we'll never get this time again. That's the thing people want to say. You will never get this opportunity again. And you don't know what's going to take you. Jump on it. Fail big. Fail, whatever. Just do it. You will get it. Mm. Trust you. I've gotten gigs. I've gotten gigs of references. Just from kind of selling people say, yo, I saw your work. I, I don't care how much you charge. Just come work with me. Mm. Mm. You know, so there's ripple effects, but yeah, I'm gonna life is not it's not, it's not for weak people, huh? For when it's not it's, it's not for chumps. For sure. Me, it's not for, it's, <laughs> you got you gotta grind it out. I, if I told you Art, you've got struggling stories. You've told me about it. Everyone's got art, struggling stories. But here you are wearing your own brand yeah. when you're 41 or 41st, sorry. I've <laughs> 41. 41st episode. Yeah. And, and, and I think um, sometimes we don't realize that the struggle is part of what we do. You know, like it's almost like uh, you want to de associate doing well from the struggle the struggle will sure. always be a part of it and it comes at different levels even yep. if you are at the highest level of your your career as an artist you will struggle about with something as long as you are you aware sh- definitely something yeah, you, will can struggle with, you can struggle with just right true you can struggle with like create a, a writer's block you have a studio you have all these cars you have pools you know you got these endorsements but the thing that brought you there is saying, nah, not, not this month. Eh? I haven't done that. Or not That's this it. year. <laughs> yeah, not this year. <laughs> not this year. But like you say, you gotta, you gotta turn it off. I had definitely. Oh, the long- I, I, I had, I had the longest one, man. Like the longest writer's blog ever. But I think yeah. it, it also, um, I embrace it still. You know, like I embrace those yeah. moments where. You don't really know what you want to do or whatever it is that you're doing. It's just work, you know. And <laughs> <laughs> but you told me that you, but I think we had a conversation. About yeah, yeah, we had. We like, were complaining about the creative. And I was like, just keep doing it. Because later when I wake up, as soon as I wake up, I go, oh, yes, you're the best. You're the best. I'll just be like, oh, my God, what were you thinking? And, I, and within the midst of everything, something clicks. Right? It always does that. There's always that switch. Because mm. you're just searching for it. 
Mm. Can you imagine your Ninth Wonders of the World or all these great producers who just look for LPs, who create dig the whole day? Mm. You do create dig for two weeks. What's that clean to me about that? But just create dig. And once you get it, you know, I know, you're gone. Yeah, I know. Right? And, it, and it starts this avalanche of great ideas. Mm. Right? You gotta write bad before you write good. You gotta play shit before you play. Right? But like you said, in the pockets, there's going to be bad moments. Mm. You're just, you're just like, wow, why am I not creative? Why is this now? Yeah. And it's just part of life, though. It is. It is what it is. It is what it is, definitely. It is and, what it is, bro. Um, just, I want to punt this um, a bit more and really talk about Mafikeng um, in closing. As a, as a place with arts, you know, I mean, we, we've seen a lot of great artists coming from Mafikeng. You mentioned Presley Chuenayakai. I mean, he's a what is the... It's not a Grammy. What is it? Oscar. He's an Oscar winner. He won Oscar. Yeah, he won Oscar back in the... Before Oscars were like a... Dude. Racially motivated show. <laughs> they were like... Yeah. <laughs> before they didn't nominate black people, he was Dude. like... Yeah, I can say what are you about? I think it was in 2007. It was black now. It was black. Yeah. So it is black in the day. Definitely. Yes. And, and and we've seen people like Double HP, KB Mutilanyan, Cooley, obviously. Kespa Nyoves is one of them. And... Um, I mean, I'm I'm getting in there as well as one of the artists who are really doing well um, from yeah. Mafikeng. You are one of them. Um, who are some of the people that are on the come up from Mafikeng that you've seen? That I've seen? Um, Hashwan is a, a, a group. Uh, we gotta talk about them, guys. I mean, they, they did a Musoko Mantaka the other day. They, they changed Lemonka's formula. Like, Lemonka was blown away. Um, you know, there's DJs Mohai who really, you know, like uh, there's a guy called uh, the homie DJ Cosby, I don't know if you know him. Yeah. Right. Stubborn as, as hell, but he's like, first time I heard piano was him. And this is like way, right? Great taste, you know, tea pasty tech. Um, Jimmy Mohorosi DJ. Now, Nana actually is a guy who's not mentioned because Nana doesn't want to be famous, right? Mm. We all know that. Nana just wants to come and kill yeah. and then go home. Yeah. <laughs> like, he eats his food and then he goes home. Nana's also a guy. DJ Coco is also, I mean, obviously, he's one of my one of my best friends. I've traveled with him for a bit. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, the, 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 the Escobar Collective. Mm. You, should, you should come hang out at Dice's place. And hear what Dice plays. Like, yeah. Dice is like, his ear is ridiculous. He's, he has, like, Dice is the type of guy who listens to music four hours a day. Mm. He listen to, like, LPs, tabu, like, like, dumb, like, shit you've never heard. So, be, so it's guys like that, right, who, who have spawned other sort of movements. They will not admit it, but we know they've spawned, they've done this. It's guys like that, um, Let's talk females. Obviously, Beasting is doing her thing. Go, go, UFM. Shout mm. out to that. Yeah. You cannot deny that. Um, it's a lot of people, dude. Um, Tenolo uh, Sibohudi. Um, yeah. She yeah. just dropped her album. You're, you're better go get that. Um, everyone, has, it's just too many. Like, I, sometimes we link up at a party and I'm like, can we decide what we... Do you want to do you want to do this? Do you want to be famous? Do we take this on the road? But there's a lot of them. Um, this is too many to mention. And what I really wish could happen, Mohai, yeah. and this is me speaking as a person who stays here. Mm. Right? I see it every day. Work on your brand, and it means socially too. You you gotta be careful what you you know, keeping it real sometimes sucks. Right, because it's a very impressionable time. You know what I mean? If you're gonna do your thing, do it privately, but buffet miracle. That's all I want. Give them the work, then we're gonna move on. Yeah. Um who else, man? I mean there's a lot. And I actually thought you were gonna ask me a question today. Right. And I had like a whole list. I should have written that about the talent in my VK. Yeah. I actually thought you were gonna like I was guessing you're gonna, you're gonna ask me that. Yeah, man. I mean, but yeah, there's, there's, there's too many guys. I mean, Uncle T, you know, Uncle T, yeah, Uncle T yeah. very talented, yeah. does, does his own music. Kumo P mm -hmm. is also, you know, a really good kid. And shout out to uh, the guys that you wear in their t shirts, Pakota Sunday as well, you know. Yeah, Pakota Sunday too, you know, Buddha yeah. Cast, all these kids. They, 
they, they, they got a movement that, that, that has given us fresh air. Yeah. We might be too old for it, but I mean, I'm looking a little younger today. I'm getting yeah, I'm going to be too old. I got to check that. Let me know. I think I'm going to get into that. Here's the thing. Yeah, it started at a house. Yeah. Now they're doing two and a half, three thousand. No outsiders. They, they, don't, they don't book anyone outside. Yeah. They don't book anyone. Dope. 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 Shout out to Kota Sunday too. Um, everyone. The Bush Sugar P, they're also doing their own movement. Everyone is doing their own movement. And it's dope because we can always tap into it. But my... Can we work on the stage? So full of bonus is another guy. People mm. don't, don't mention that much. And he's he, he drops, he just dropped his tape. A day ago. Please get it. Sure. Right. He 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 drops the tape every and he's brilliant. Sometimes he'll curate someone's tape, like mm. the, the music selection, and he'll drop it. Shout out to him. And he puts guys on. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, man. I mean, like, we can't mention everyone, but, like, um, I'm... Yeah, yeah, I you. mean, jeez. I, mean, I, I might get some calls yeah. now. I mean, <laughs> exactly. <so many. laughs> but anyway, but like, um, I just want to say thank you for, for, for sharing your time. Um, I, thank you, bro, I'm always inspired by your work ethic. I can't imagine myself taking pictures every day, you know. I, uh, but, I mean, that's your thing. I'm sure um, uh, I do the same with music, too, you know. I mean, now um, with this show something that i do every day it's it's a daily sure. a daily ritual of some sort but i want to say thank you kb and i wish you all the best bro for your your successes and our successes you know uh, in the yeah, 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 we gotta work for, sure, for sure no we're gonna work but here's the best thing black folk yeah, and and specifically for, i'm doing this intention can we stop saying support me right because it's it's dangerous for me, right? Because what's gonna happen is if you don't have a product that's worth people's money, you're gonna feel like no, I'm being hated on. People aren't seeing me. Okay, let us see your how many how many mixes do you have? Right? Stop saying support. Give them the work. They your people will find you. Mm. If you're making food, if you're making anything, clothes, just fucking grind, guys. I swear. Mm. I've seen it happen through my life. I've seen it happen through my friends like you. Mm. I've seen it happen through all my friends. Oh, everyone I know. They put in the work and they find themselves playing at amazing gigs. And mm. nobody's, none of them say, support me, please. Put. No. Nobody, nobody cares. Like, you know, our brother... Uncle Ralph says, yeah. no, nobody cares. Nobody brother. cares, brother. So, <laughs> nobody cares, just work hard. <laughs> so I, I, that's what I want for my people. Like, it's it's not easy. We're going through a lot. But, you know, just work. Mm. I thought, like, there's nothing else. Mm. Uh, and, and, and and if you need help, sh- like, just lift your hand up. Like, you know, we're not really that hard. Just ask for help. Yeah. Just say, type, yeah, email LSG, say your LSG. Like how do you how do you do this? How do you master? How do you mix? Because sometimes that information is really for free. You can play mm. I'm always saying do this. So ask. Don't put your pride at the door. Mm. Mm. Be patient. Okay. Stop being patient. But trust you me, the most patient people in the world probably the most successful one. Mm. And 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 just to add on that, right? That's kind of a lot of But I want to add on that um, when. When you work on your thing, when you know that you've worked on your thing daily, even when you encounter um, hardships or su- you need advice, it's always better when you walk up to somebody and say, Mona, I need advice on this photo. You know, like, what is wrong? Yeah. The photos that they've taken, how can I improve? How can I get better at this? And now you, right. you, can, you see it as this guy has taken initiative, has taken exactly. the time an effort to learn and get better at doing this thing, you know, and then you can help that person easily. But if you come, to, sure. if somebody comes without, like, even... Yeah, man. So, so, so I'm all for that. Like, I'm all for helping people, but I think um, you are much, we are all much more powerful when we help ourselves first. And then yeah. we ask for help, for assistance. For sure. Once, that's a gem. Once you you never help yourself, 
Somebody will see what okay, oh, mm. just needs the right push, you know, push not the right. This is how you do the right push, okay, but if I am, because you're gonna get those you hold like desire, mm. mm. but you know, the, the mentor will always identify mm. the master or the teacher, always identify the students, mm. it's, it's not the other way around. This guy just go to you, I'm there to grow this, grow this, grow this. I went on China. Like, get out of here, dude. You don't have a camera. <laughs> but if you have a camera and you bought it, you're like, dude, I want to take pictures. I always say no. But if I find you outside my house, what I'm here. Yeah. Because I did that to a lot of guys. Like, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. But again, look, thanks for having me on your show. Keep putting it tight. I hope everybody um, enjoys the show and enjoys this further because I don't think that. They didn't, see, they didn't see this coming. I mean, show 41, okay, 80, what, two, I think? 83, 82. So it's half. That's 240 shows a year. So let's give it five years, you know? Hopefully, yeah. it's going to be great. Man, I love hearing that, bro. Like, now we, we, we're gonna keeping on, keeping I, on, I, bro. I, like, we're going to keep going, doing this thing, you know, and um, with the help of, you know, people who are watching it, the support is really great. And um, yeah, and it's people like you who who don't mind sharing their own expertise, you know, with us. And I really appreciate yeah. that, my man. Anyway, I'm gonna play out with uh, this performance that we we did. Um, yeah, Koka FM. Uh, it's from yeah. 2017, but it's amazing how something from 2017 is still sounding and looking so fresh. You know what I mean? Really? Man, I was talking to Jimmy about that yesterday. Jimmy knows. I spoke to Jimmy about it. She was like, "Yeah." So you call me up. You know, me and my good friends. And he's like, yo, what's going on? I was in an interview. I was talking about it. And I'm like, guys, he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, that's 2017. So yeah. he's like, okay, why don't you cry? I see you, cry. Yeah. Yeah, that was 2017. Kind of 2017, Crazy. for sure. Super, super. Yeah. Man. Nini Malux is there. Yeah, yeah. With his, with yeah, his yeah, beautiful wife, Sonny Kids. Yeah, Nini Malux is there. Little chubby. Little chubby. <laughs> I'm actually looking oh, yeah. forward to having him on the show uh, uh, some some of the the, the the coming weeks. Yeah, Cool Affair too. Yeah. I think Cool Affair is it's some guy. If you pick this, I picked this brand in Kimberly with Nina Mario. If you have them as a pair, mm. they're brilliant. Thank you, bro. You're gonna produce my show now. You can do that uh, if you. Then I can produce your copy. Uh, <laughs> show me the mic. <laughs> I let you know. I let you know. Anyway, peace out, KB. Cheers, take, brother. Take care, brother. More love. More love. This and uh, please remember to stay creative. Peace out.